Good morning, folks. I uh, hope your Sunday's going grand. Um, back again. I keep having to take breaks because I'm busy, 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 busy. Anyway, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell notification so that you're notified when I upload another video, which hopefully I'll get my ass in gear and start doing it every weekend. Yes, that's my plan. And also, if you are new to the channel, um, I'll put a link up above to my previous videos and the series of what I've been mixing. And hopefully you'll find something you like in it. Anyway, today we are mixing. This is one of my favorite recipes. I've kept it hidden for a long time. Um, only because I didn't want to share. I was being greedy, but I decided that I'm going to set it free, and you're seeing it for the first time on my channel. So anyway, it's called Whiskey Cream, and I do like my booze mixes. Okay, so I will show you the recipe. I'll share the screen and show you, and you can get a look at it. And it even has a pretty picture. And there we go. Okay, so this is my whiskey cream. And I really love this mix. And there's the pretty picture, so you can see. Does not look tasty. Okay, anyway, let's get right. Okay, so of course the star of the show in this is the Real Flavors Bourbon. And I used that at 1.5%. Um, and I used it with a little kicker of brandy. Um, Cause that's more or less a, a chocolate cream liqueur. It's brandy and chocolate. So I kind of broke it up for the recipe. So the brandy uh, by Flavor Art is going in at 0.75. And of course, chocolate cream. Um, unfortunately, this is the old version. I haven't tried it with, with their, whatever version chocolate cream they're on. But this is the original version, so, and I used it at 1.2%. And F.A. Cocoa, just to give it that, that goes with the, if you were to make a chocolate liqueur, you would use uh, brandy and cocoa. So this is just broken up for the recipe, so. And then, of course, uh, F.A. Custard. And some cat vanilla custard just because the two of them go great together and there you have it so i'll shop stairs yes i will stop sharing now and we will get on with the mix Alrighty. okay so anyway i need a container so we're gonna go i have a big ass one today unfortunately because i need to do cleaning so giant giant <coughs> Excuse me. And we seem to have a frog. I better get a drink or this own, or else I'm just gonna keep choking to death here. Okay, excuse me. I seem to have a frog today. Okay, so like I said, uh oh, and we need whoa, and we need nicotine, of course, because I am making this for myself because I actually haven't had it for a while and I really miss having it because I really like my booze. And it's in so, okay, I'll get this show on the road yet. Okay, so um, I uh, I vape at point at six milligrams. So I always add my nick first. The reason I do that is if you over pour, you can take it out. A lot of people do it at the end, and if you fuck up, your whole mix is screwed, and then you have to remix another mix to compensate for that, and it's a whole mess. I do it first. You can take it back out if you over pop. Okay, so let's get on with the show. Okay, so, oh, shit. I uh, forgot my little drill. You need know, to go down, baby. <laughs> There we go. And now you can watch me mixing. Whoa. And making messes, which I usually do. Okay. Okay, we'll get my beaker. There we go. Okay. And we're setting things on fire here. 
Okay, so like I said, I vape at six milligram. And shake, 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 make sure you shake everywhere. Uh, so I'm making a 60 milligram of this. So for 60 milligrams, I need 4.54. And if you mix this up, please come back to let me know what you think about it. Like I said, this is one of my favorites. And I've been sort of missing it, so I'm making it today. And I would recommend, because of the chocolates and the custards, that this is a minimum two weeks deep. Um, I would let it steep for longer if you can. Three weeks would be way better. There we go. 4.54 for the nicotine. Okay, next one is PG, and I'm mixing this at 80-20. Okay, so just so you know, I've sort of changed my ratios. Okay, so PG is going in at 7.65. And... We're getting there. And there we go. And don't laugh at my funny bottle for my VP because I had a oops this morning. It took a, the cap took a dump on me, so I had to get this little bad boy out today. So I'm kind of used to this one. Okay, so. My VG is going in at 55.9, so I'm just going to have a dump here. Maybe. Uh-oh. Maybe we are. Maybe we're not. I guess we're not. Not today. It's having some sort of fit. Okay, fully on this. I'm not messing around. Okay, 55. Seem to be having incidences today. Lots of them back to back. Now let's see how close I can get without okay, I want fifty-five. Okay. I'm close. Uh, too careful. Okay, I think we'll, we'll get out a pip at for this last little round. Well, and we're making messes. Okay, I need... Uh, oh, that wasn't... Shit. Maybe I can get, actually get some, maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, we did it. Okay. Yes, I've been having fun today. Everything's gone wrong today. Everything. I have to poke my bottle. I have to get a new bottle. Okay. Anyway. All right. So now we're going to get into this. Okay. So for the real flavors bourbon. I um, mean, that's going in at 1.5%, and apparently I'm making messes everywhere, damn it. Okay, it's going, it's going in the mix at 0.9. If anybody's questioning real flavors, it is not gone, okay? DIY Canada has taken over real flavors. Um, they just finished moving and getting themselves situated in their new place. And once they're settled, and you can get them now if you order from DIY Canada. And I'll put the link in the description box below. I think you can get them at some places in the States. But between some of us, we're not sure if that stuff that came from Waltz, which seems to be We'll just say messed up. Okay, anyway. Okay, so F.A. Brandy is going in the mix at 0.75, but 
the grams will be 0.47. Now, I am going to tell you about this mix. Um, I know if you have the real drink, you get a bit of a, you know, you get a bit of a little kickback. This, somehow I managed to develop even the kickback. But it's so good. Okay, chocolate cream is going in the mix at 1.2 and grams is 0.72. Someday I'm going to actually run out of this chocolate cream and have to try the other one. I should try it anyway. Okay. Go oh, away. Okay, just fall off there. There you go. Okay. Okay, next one up is FA cocoa and it's going in the mix at 0.25 you don't want to use this stuff very high at all because it will taste like crap and burnt and nasty and really grainy so if you want to boost a chocolate you can use cocoa but use it very low how low can you do okay we can go 0.15 in the mix that's how low we can go Just like that. Okay, my scale likes to mess with me. Okay, next one up is FAA custard. And that's going in the mix at 2%, but actually 1.2 grams. And we will throw that in there. I like to um, pair custard sometimes because one custard has more of something than another and the other one has something that the other one doesn't have. So I find it kind of rounds it out by using like two custards because I think every custard has its own good qualities and somewhere that it's lacking. So I like to pair custards because I want to make sure I get a complete custard so and I don't really think at this point there's a complete custard that has everything anyway okay so the cat vanilla custard of course my favorite v1 um is going in the mix at two and again at 1.2 That's just my theory. I, I think that's, that's the way I like to do it, is pair up custards, but okay. So I'm gonna put the recipe aside. We'll shut this off. We'll see if I can find a bottle. I do have some in here somewhere. Somewhere. Okay. We'll use this one. And I believe, yes, I do have a cap and a teeny bit of water. Okay. And my handy dandy mixer. So we'll get rid of this little guy here. We will shove him over here and over there. Okay. <laughs> like it? It's like a science project. And of course, my batteries are going to die. My batteries are always dying. Okay, come on, you can do it. Just not liking this. Oh, this stuff smells so good. Well, I think I got most of it. We might just have to do a shake, shake, shake after this is done. Yeah, it's not. It's wearing out. The poor old guy's having a fit. It needs needs to be reduced stuff. Oh yeah. So what I'll do is I'm gonna pour it. No, I'll give it a little one of these, and then just pour it in here.
maybe we'll be here all day. And I keep forgetting my spatula. So I really like my spatula. I don't like to, to waste shit. Okay, well, I guess, it, oh, we're wasting a lot today. Yes, a lot. Let's see if we can get this sucker to come over. There we go. There we go, it's coming over now. Okay, I'll waste some today just for you guys, just so you don't have to sit here watching me do this all day. Now I can give a better shake. It is dark, and that's because of the chocolate cream and the cocoa, but there you have it. Whiskey cream. Like I said, it needs uh, at least two weeks, three, if you can do better. And I'll bring you back to life again. You can get off the ride. Oh, and we're tilting. Anyway, folks, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope you do try this recipe. And please let me know what you think about it. It is one of my favorites. Okay. And you know I like my chocolate and my booze. Anyway, have a great day. And I'll see you hopefully next weekend. Bye.